In this lecture, let's talk about few more compiler configuration options in tsconfig.json file, especially the LRJS option and source map option. Let's go to VS Code. And in this compiler options object, if we scroll down, so in this JavaScript support section, you will see that we have two options, LRJS and CheckJS. Currently, they are commented. And these two options takes a Boolean value true or false. So this allow.js option, it allows us to include JavaScript file along with the TypeScript file during the compilation process. So if we set this allow.js to true, after uncommenting it, what it will do is during the compilation process, along with the TypeScript file, it will also include JavaScript file for compilation. Then we also have this check.js. Check.js simply checks the syntax in the JavaScript code and report any potential error in that JavaScript code. So if we uncomment this check.js option and if it is set to true, what it will do is it will simply check the syntax in the JavaScript files and it will report any potential error, any error which it will find in that JavaScript file. Now, these two options can be useful when you don't want to completely rely on TypeScript in your project. So let's say you're creating a project where you're using JavaScript as the programming language. Now, what you also want is you want to utilize some of the advanced features of TypeScript in that project. So at that time, you can uncomment this allow.js and check.js and set it to true. And then you can also write some TypeScript code. And during the compilation process, the TypeScript code will be compiled to JavaScript. And then that JavaScript code will also get compiled. It will be also included in the compilation process. All right, now we don't need these two options in our project. And we also want to make sure that we don't double compile the JavaScript files, which has been generated by compiling the TypeScript files. So for example, in our project folder, you will see that we have some JavaScript files, app.js, auth.js, config.js, etc. So if we uncomment this allow.js, and if we set it to true, these JavaScript files are generated after compiling the TypeScript file. So what it will do is, it will again recompile the JavaScript file also. Okay, so we are not going to enable this option. Then another option which we have is this JSX option. So this JSX option can help us with the React project. So if I scroll a little bit right, so basically that JSX option, it specifies what JSX code is generated. For this project, it is not relevant because we are not working with JSX code here. Then if we scroll down, we also have these two options, declaration and declaration map. Again, these two options are not that important at this point. Basically, this declaration map and this declaration option, it works with d.ts files. This d.ts file is an advanced concept. It is used when you are shipping your project code as a library to other people. So currently, we are also not going to worry about these two options. But I just wanted to mention it here because this might be useful to know where we use them. Another important option which we have in this file is this source map. So this source map option helps us with debugging and development. To understand it, what we will do is let's first go ahead and let's compile this project. So again, for that, we can type tsc space app.ts. So basically, I'm compiling the app.ts file. Or what I can also do is I can simply type tsc and it will compile all the TypeScript file in our project. All right. Now, let's go to this source tab. And there you will see, let me move this window a little bit down. So there you will see we have our app.js file, auth.js file, and config.js file. So you can simply open these files and you can read the code, the JavaScript code, which is generated for those files. Okay, and this can be helpful when you want to debug these codes. So from here also, you can set a breakpoint like this and you can debug the JavaScript code. Now, what if instead of debugging JavaScript code, let's say we also want the TypeScript files shown here so that we can debug the TypeScript file instead of debugging generated JavaScript file. You can do that by enabling source map option. So here, Let's uncomment this source map option and let's set it to true. 
let's save the changes and now let's again go ahead and let's compile this project so the project has been compiled and if we go to the project folder there you will see that some dot js dot map files have been created so we have this app dot js dot map we have auth.js.map and we have config.js.map so for each javascript file this .js.map file has been created if we open one of these files let's say if i open this app.js.map file here you will see that this file has some pretty strange content as you can see okay but what these files basically do is they basically act as a bridge which is understood by modern browsers and the developer tools which comes with that browser to connect the javascript file to the input files so with these files generated if we again go to the source tab here and if i refresh the page now you will see that app.ts config.ts these two files are also generated here and now from here we can also debug our TypeScript code. So this is the advantage of enabling this source map option in tsconfig.json. Now here I will simply go ahead and I will comment this option because our project is very small and I do not want to generate these unnecessary .js.map files here. So I have simply commented it. But if you have a need where you want to debug your TypeScript code in browser's developer tool, then you can simply go ahead and you can uncomment this source map option and set it to true. All right, so this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.